I think John is very nervous right now. Nice to meet you. My last day after 16 years of service was July 29th. They did a reorganization and basically eliminated my position. Being laid off sucks. It hurt me to see him go from this very outgoing person to being angry and bitter. No job! I've applied for emergency services positions, call center positions, human resource positions. It's got to be seven, 800 resumes he sent out and we're not hearing anything. I'm very concerned about us financially getting back on our feet. Bills just keep piling up, piling up, piling up, and the money coming in is less and less and less and less. So it's been really, really hard on us. When I first met John, he was really angry about what happened to him. What has held you back as a job seeker is bitterness toward... No. Yes! No. I don't believe you. No. I have one goal, and my one goal is to help you get hired. We gotta do it. We had to focus on three things. This is the resume that you mm -hmm. gave me. His resume, it doesn't tell me anything about how qualified you are. His interviewing skills, I'm gonna send you a list of the 20 most common interview questions. And I want you to wrap a great story into each of the answers. And his wardrobe. Look at that, baby! Don't have any jackets that fit. A little tight around the center. John has worked really hard, and things are starting to turn around. Hey, America, how's everybody doing? It's John. As you saw on Good Morning America, Tori was talking about me having an interview. He's got an interview tomorrow, so I'm very excited yeah, about that. John, That's good true. luck with that interview tomorrow. We're all pulling yeah. for you. Everything fits well. Looks pretty good. The power tie on. Make sure I button it up. No tie tag. No tie tag. Look at that. He even got the socks to match the suit. Since John began working with Tori, I've seen a lot more confidence in him. I think Tori helped him let go of the past. This is a new beginning for me and for the family. Ali Barton is a very large security firm. I feel I'll be a great fit. He's got the skills. He knows how to work with the public. He knows how to talk to people. He's got the background. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome back to meet Chris. Thank you. I think they're going to fall in love with him. I really do. I think they would see that he can get the job done. But I don't think people are willing to take that chance these days. Good morning. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to meet you. Great. I think John is very nervous right now. Go ahead and sit down right over there. Thank you. If our financial situation doesn't improve, we could lose the house, and I would hate to lose it. Great, most important, right? We've had our rough years when we first got married. Money was tight, but we muddled through it. And since John's lost his job, I just feel like somebody ripped out the floor from underneath us. So as a next step, what I'd like to do is to see if you could spend a little time mm -hmm. with him today before he leaves, and then you and I can circle back. <laughs> And I'm supposed to learn skills, my resume. I have one or two more people I need to meet with, so we'll go from there. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's where it's at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I won't process. We're going on almost two and a half hours. That's a very long interview. Thank you. It's great meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon. The strengths that John has are that he has training in areas that are important in the security industry. In terms of weaknesses, it's lack of direct supervisory experience. Although he has managed people, they've been volunteers. And managing a volunteer is a little different than managing somebody who, who we are paying. Good job. Larry, the code is wrong. Right after the interview, I gave Tori a call. How'd it go? I really felt very confident walking in and into that interview. What about the issue of managing volunteers versus managing employees? That became uh, a, a little bit of an issue. We can uh, address that in a thank you letter so right. that it's not something that's sort of just left dangling and appears as a weakness on your part. We can turn it into, as best as possible, um, a strength of yours. I took Tori's advice. I wrote a thank you letter and I made the point that managing volunteers can even be more difficult than managing paid staff. Hello? Hi John, it's Chris from Ally Barton. Hi Chris, how are you doing? Good, how are you? 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 Good
How you doing? John, I just wanted to say thank you for coming in to meet us. We all appreciated the opportunity to meet with you. Oh, you're very welcome, and thank you for having me come in. We had some concerns about the fact that you had managed paid employees. But we all agree that with your experience, your energy, we think that you'll do a terrific job, and we're very excited to offer you an opportunity with us. Guess what? I now have the job. Well, John got the job which we're really excited about. It's going to help us a lot, but, um, you know, we still have a lot of bills to pay. We still have got a mortgage, the equity loan, the credit card bills. Um, I don't know, should we just focus on paying the bills, but then I'm afraid if he doesn't keep the job, then we don't have any more savings. Um, I'm not quite sure what we should be doing right now. John, I'm so happy to see you. How Thanks are you? you too. I'm good. I've been offered the position at Ally Barton, for a field inspector. So tell me what it feels like to have somebody say, we value your experience, we want you. Yeah, I'm a very happy person. Good. Kids are going to be excited when they start seeing some more paychecks coming in, more bills getting paid, little better vacations once in a while. So I'm excited about it. I love this attitude. This is oh, a new good. job. I'm smiling today. Now that John's got a job, should his family focus on building up savings or paying off debt? Join the conversation.